Um, and this is double digits part two. Which is never good. Because it just means it's a little bit harder. Um, and here's the deal with it. Let me give you an example. Let me just talk about it here. Let's say you've got 19 into 792. 19 into 792. Following our little DMSB divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, or whatever, Mrs. Lucy, what was it? Well, it's all the same thing there. Here's the deal. When you look at this problem, a little difference between what you've done before is, when you look at this problem, here's the difference here. This is a 19. And when you think about how many times 19 goes into this, you should try to think a little bit about rounding the number so that you can get close to the answer. Because if you just said this was like a 1 into 7, you'd say it goes into that 7 times. First of all, it doesn't go into 7 at all. How many times does 19 go into 79? When you're thinking about that, because this is awful close to 20, and that is awful close to 80, just to get the number that you should do, you should think, well, how many times would 20 go into 80? And that's about four times. So, But you still don't know for sure until you step off to the side and you do your 19 times 4. And 19 times 4 is... 72. And 72 is pretty close to 79, so I use that. 4 times 19 is 72. I do my subtract, and oh, look, that's what I get. And now you already did this. How many times will 19 go into 72? Four times, because I've already done that. Is your mind? Oh, there you go. Plus 36. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, Ooh, what? All day. Oh, shoot. Chalk that up for mistake number two. Yeah, good. Very good. How many times then, I'm sorry, how many times did, would 19 go into, wait a second, let me erase that, 4 over here, because it's not going to be that, oh, let's not do this. Then how many times would 19 go into 32? And again, there's where you got to think about this as being closer to 20, how many times would 20 go into 30 would be more of a kind of your thought process, Sam? Yeah, because 19 times 1 is 19. And you don't, you always have to wait till your end to see. You know, as you do your subtracting. Can I have 13 as a remainder? Yes. Yes, because it's less than 19. 4 is 1, 13 is And again, as I say to all classes, you know, if you don't know your multiplication table, so if you have to look at your little sheet to figure out what time to do, you are going to be kind of behind the eight ball. Let's try one more. How about 39 into 1,200? Thirty-nine into twelve hundred. As you do this, when you do the division, you should probably think of thirty-nine as being forty to get your number. Thirty-nine does not go into one, so there should be nothing above the one. It does not go into twelve, so there should be nothing there. And you should also be thinking this: how many digits are going to be in your answer? Just two. You're going to have something above this zero, something above that zero, and maybe a remainder over there when you get done. Some of you I know kind of come up with a lot of digits when there shouldn't be them there. So here you go. 39 didn't go into 1, it doesn't go into 12, it does go into 120. But how many times would be the thing? And again, think about this as being close to 40 to get your prediction. Frankie, how many times would you say? Well, let's try. 39 times 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Carry the 2. 9, 10, 11. Does that work? I think so. 3 and then 1 times 17. I do my subtracting. I bring down my 0. Does 39 go into 30? No. No. But I brought a number down, so what happens? I have to put the 0 up there. And I do my subtracting there. What happens? There's nothing left to bring down, so this is your remainder. Can I have 30 as a remainder? Yeah. Yes, because my number over here is 39. Uh, I can have it 30 and then the 30. 
One more, and I'm going to let you do it, and then we'll do it together. See if you can catch up with. How about 48 into 829? 48 into 829. 48 into 829. Yeah, I would think about 48 being close to 50 when I do my guessing. Are you done? Which question? Um, if it's like four, uh, 29, can, uh, can't you think of it as... 30, and then as many times as it goes into, subtract it, so, um, 29. It works for you, Sam, yes. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing 29 times 30, you do 30 times 30, you get 900, and then subtract 29 from 900, you get 871. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Sure, you can do it on, yeah. Eight twenty nine divided by forty eight. Hopefully yours looks a little like this, and we don't have all day, so we can't wait forever. 48 does not go into 8, but it does go into 82, and you should think of this kind of close to 50, and how many times does that go into there? It wouldn't go in there twice, because that would be like 100, so probably 48 times 1, which is 48. Seems like it's a long ways away, but we'll see after we subtract if it works out or not. Oh, you get 34. Can I get 34? Yes. Did I do that right? Yes. 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 So then I bring this down, and here's where probably big trouble comes, because that's a big number and a big number there. You know, your question would be about how many times would 50 probably go, I mean, you want to think of this as like being 350. How many times would 50 go into 350 probably, Brian? Seven. Well, let's see. I mean, it may or may not. 48 times 7 is... 7 has 56, 25, 28, 33, oh look, is 336 a good number? 7 there, 336, subtract 3, 1, nothing left to bring down, 17 is well, stop it, and the remainder is 13, here's the board. Stop me there if that's 